If you haven't heard about Anchor, it is the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Lawful Stupid just jumped over. First of all, it's free, and we love that. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer, wherever you're at, on the go. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you. There are a lot of other vendors out there, a lot of platforms that they will make sure your podcast gets to. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And you can make money from your podcast with zero, I say again, with zero minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Last time on Lawful Stupid. Um, yeah, so this is going to be on the heels of episode 40. And why that is so perfect is we're going to make Adam do what happened last time on Lawful Stupid. Oh, thank Stupid. God. So, Woo! Sucks I to mean, be this is going to be released like out of order, but now it's a quiz for our guest. Mm. What happened last time on episode 40? God, that's really mean. On yeah. episode 40 or 41? 40. No, 40. On episode 40, Oh wait, that wait, was... wait, 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 hold on, pause. I want to hear about episode 41 that you haven't listened to. I want to hear your predictions of episode 41. Oh, yeah. Uh, on 41, I'm going to say, Kristoff dies. That's true. We hope. Uh, yeah, he, he gets ate up by a dragon. <laughs> a dra- Damn. In a dungeon. Dragon comes up. Dragon comes up. Then you eats listen him up, to and it. Then it. You listen to it. Don't lie. And, <laughs> I did. I did. And then a dungeon drops on his head. Because, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. Um... <laughs> And the Atlas finally sells like three shovels. Yes! I'm happy about that. Oh, Rowan, uh, Rowan, uh, eats eats a couple hard biscuits uh, and gets drunk and just I mean that's it. That's a, that's that's Rowan. That's Rowan for 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's Rowan's um, life. I like that. I, I seriously think you listen to it now because it's about exactly what happened. <laughs> I love how, Dude, I was... how easily our podcast can be surmised. Christoph has a death wish. Atlas sold some shovels and hard biscuits. There, you happy? That's lawful stupid. <laughs> and 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 Dwayne did a couple voices for everybody else. Um, That's right. He does two <laughs> voices for everybody else. Correct. Yep. That's how tonight's gonna be. Uh, what are you talking and, about? Oh. And and that was episode forty one and forty two. Dude, I didn't know this was. Is this for? Is this forty two or is this forty three? I I don't know what number this is. Hmm. Neither do that we. That makes that's five of us. Great. Yeah. That makes that's five. That's my favorite recap. So awful, stupid. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, it did. That's what I was walking it into. If the first forty five minutes of this didn't make me sad, that did. It's gonna be awesome. Oh. <laughs> but seriously, what happened in episode forty? Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, uh, oh, 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 what, no, what no, happened, no, 40? No, that's okay, we don't need to do that. Okay, no, we're okay. Not let's, just, let's, just, let's just stop this train, <laughs> the train where we don't smart, do a guest smart, episode smart, smart. with any type of direction. Yeah, everybody, no, yeah, nobody right. wants to do a guest episode anymore. Like, they came and they were really mean and made them answer questions. And <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm Dude, good, you guys. They roasted them. Yeah. How dare you ask questions? Up to episode 40 and a half, you guys fucking quiz me and I'm good. You've got like 34 <laughs> episodes on me, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. Mm. Uh, yeah, so why don't, why don't we play some D&D? Mm. Boys, you hear... I'm trying to tell a story. You said play D&D. But I can see. I see how this is going to go. You said right. play D&D. It's a net 20. Okay. I'll just listen. I edit this shit. I'm just gonna mute you out, and it's gonna be real weird when I'm responding to no audio. Yeah. Um, anyways, boys, you hear the familiar strum of the lute, but differently this time because when you heard the lute, that normal melodic kind of ring that it has to it when you kind of got accustomed to being flung through time and space to go on these zany adventures this one kind of like goes sideways on you almost like a string breaks and we're gonna shift to our guest 
and let him introduce himself because we didn't do that uh, because we got so comfortable with him in the B-roll. So why don't you introduce who you are <laughs> and then voice your silent this whole time. And once you're done introducing who you are, sir, go ahead and introduce uh, and describe your character to our listeners, please. So I am Adam from One Shot Onslaught, and my character is Griffo Blade Dudley. Uh, his magician name, he's a street magician, uh, arcane trickster, and uh, his, his, you know, street street magician name is just blade uh so i'm a halfling rogue trickster uh hey, what is it rk trickster why you paint me that word picture of your boy so i am about three feet tall i've got uh bright green eyes brown uh sandy brown hair uh kind of shaggy hair and uh normally I wear a uh, kind of a bright purple flowing robe with uh, lots of tiny pockets in the inside. Um, and it kind of covers my whole body. I've got um, a satchel that I usually wear on, on my back. Uh, but I'm not sure what exactly I'm wearing right now due to some things that I know. So, Griffo, you find yourself, which you've been here for a little bit now, in a gel cell, cell. and it's cold, it's, it's real cold, and it's dark, and it's a little damp, and when you last went to sleep, you had this place to yourself. Well, of all jail cells, not the greatest, but at least you had space. When you woke up, you're now joined by a white orc, a beautiful blonde elf, and then Kristoff's there, and he's he's a beautiful, majestic tiefling, which we, we all know what Kristoff looks like. He's beautiful. Uh, so they're all passed out in your cell and they of course just like you were stripped of their weapons and their trinkets and everything that well you would have thought of of value um and that's where we are what would you like to do griffin so i was actually um snoozing while they were brought in uh so i'm not sure if they stirred me to wake uh, while while they were coming in. Um, oh, they're super passed out right now. That's why they're silent. Oh, then uh, I was actually passed out also. So <laughs> I'm not sure uh, if if I if how much time goes by uh, until I wake up. Oh, you wake up before them. They're okay. Asleep. You get to do what you want to do while they sleep. It's great. It's all you. Oh god, so I no wake boys, up. boys, that's not what that means as they all make weird faces. <laughs> uh so I wake up and I actually uh as I look around the room and I and I see these three in my jail cell. Uh I I want to go up to that uh I want to go up to that uh tiefling fellow. Uh he looks a little 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 roguish too and I I want to shake him away. Awake. Yeah, I am Kristoff Shindo. Yeah. Uh okay. I'm 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 Griffo. Uh Wait, what do you got? What are you doing here? Are you with the other, these other two? Uh yes. Um Abbas Rowan do awake thing times. Well, well, I'm Christoph Shindo. Wow. <laughs> oh, that uh, that's uh, 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 uh. Wait, are you are you guys both named Christoph Shindo? That's weird. No, no, I just, he always does that thing, and I wanted to try it, but it doesn't work very well for me. You could try it with your oh. own name, and maybe it would feel more natural. Oh, I, I get it now. I get it. Uh, what if what if I wake up? He is Atlas' last name. Fair, yeah. We have been together for I don't know how long, yet you don't know my last name. Doesn't come up often, to be fair. Yeah, anyway, uh, uh, who are you? 
I'm 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 Griffo Dudley. Uh, wh what are you guys doing in here? <sighs> Rowan sleeping. Tell him what happened, Rowan. <laughs> you were sleeping. Not, not only is <laughs> Rowan going sleeping, Atlas just assumes. All right, Rowan, why are we here? I don't I don't know why you assume that I'm the one. The the that got us. the loot. Well, you, you see, uh, Mr. Dudley, uh, we are travelers. We journey through space and time, uh, leaping, if you will, some sort of quantum leap, hoping that the next leap is the leap that will bring us home. I mean, it's not exactly true, but I've got this magical loot that throws you us don't some have time the loot on your back right now. What? You don't have the loot on your back, bro. Guys, I'm free of my commitments. I'm stay <laughs> we here can forever. finally live our lives! We're free! You also know that you need the loot to get home. Yeah, but we could just open that shop we always talked about. We'll live here, this is great. Yeah. Uh, Griff Griffo, um... This is a weird request, but... What year is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of a... Kind of a vague question. What is it? Fourteen ninety-two? I don't know how D and D years work. Only, Me only when Christopher <laughs> Columbus sails the ocean blue. Is it fourteen ninety-two? Yes. I, oh. uh, yeah. I I have no idea what year it is. Oh, you guys. Got... <laughs> don't even worry about it. I'm not gonna make anybody commit to this. So it's fourteen ninety-two. Do you remember an arcane war? Oh yeah, years ago. How many How years many? ago ish? A uh, century ago? Mm. Mm, good. That's a mark. <laughs> no. I, I, I can pinpoint that somewhere. Yep, about 300 That's between years. the Arcane Wars and not the Arcane Wars. God. Well, we know. This, I can, I'll break the timeline down if you want, but I'm not here to, to debate which infinity is bigger than the other. So. <laughs> So, uh, what is it that you've done to get yourself thrown into prison, Mr. Dudley? Oh, well, I'm I'm kind of like a, a street magician, uh, but I also kind of use that to, you know, maybe you would call it hustle some people, uh, and I was playing uh, find, the, find the ball in the cup, uh, and apparently it was a... Uh, it was it was somebody's son who was higher up in the you know who had some sway and uh I I wagered two to one gold and uh he he bet twenty gold. Uh he didn't win and he wasn't happy with that. And uh, apparently his father was somebody pretty big in the town, so he, he got me sw thrown in jail. So that I've been in jail for yeah. That, that's not good, but I do have some very important critical questions about your whole life situation. Um, you're, you said a magician. Yeah, like you, street like, magician. Like you do close-up magic, like sleight of hand. Yeah, and I've got a little bit of actual magic. Because uh, that, uh, that was my concern, is that magic is real and exists. So, like... My concern is, be like, okay, find the ball in the cup, and they're like, I cast locate object, it's there. Yeah, so I usually use, you know, I mean, don't tell anybody, but I usually use minor illusion and kind of an illusion of ball in the cup, so no matter what, I can kind of rig it to, you know, I win. Yeah, but what happens uh, when they cast I, detect I, I, magic? Well, well, I don't... I, uh, that's when I get thrown in jail. Apparently, got it. No, no worries. No, I just <laughs> it's it's in, it's an interesting concept. Fake magic and world of magic. Yeah. Well, see, see, people don't know. I don't carry a spell book, and I don't advertise that I'm yeah. a magician. So, when 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 you know, magicians and sorcerers and wizards are a dime a dozen. Yeah. You know, uh, when somebody can do close up magic. Without any magical powers, and you know, some people like to see that. No, it's uh, and I kind of try to slip under the radar. And yes, I do indeed have some 
magical powers. Okay. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, I'm into that. That's that's way better than just being a cut purse. Yeah. 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 A lot more finesse. You know, or you know, or a sorcerer. You know. Yeah, I hate sorcerers. Um, (laughs) No, I understand because the thing is, when you just rob people, all the interstate is they just don't have any money anymore, and they don't get anything out of that exchange. But at least in your way, they get a show. They're entertained while they're being fleeced. Well, now, now I do try to, I do try to make it even enough so that I just come out ahead. But I do let, I, I let a few people win. Okay, yeah, I'm super into that. That's good. Um, so how long have you been here? About, 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 uh, about two hours now. Uh, I think. I don't know. I was just asleep, so I don't know how long I slept. But about one nap's worth. One recent. Mm. recent. That was my favorite unit of time. I- Yes, yes. one nap. How, how old one are you? Naps. Eight thousand naps old. Uh, I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm eighty years time. Uh, about eight thousand naps. Okay. Very good. Uh, he's doing fervently, for, feverishly does that, the math. How many naps that, do you take that, in a year? Yes. Yes. yes that, that means ten yes. naps a day. So every nap is about two. God naps, damn it! One three hours. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Good. That's good nap math. Good nap Guys, nobody was, nobody was supposed to do my nap math. <laughs> We're doing your nobody nap said, math. Nobody said I was doing that <laughs> yeah, math. Look, Welcome to my world. This is d What year are we in? Quick, place it in the timeline. I don't Fuck. know. No, that's, that's all D&D look, it's, is. It's, it's just, year zero. It's year zero. d and is just math and make-believe, so... Mm-hmm. If, you, if you're not good at one, be really good at the other. <laughs> That's why I'm good at math. That's why I'm good at making shit up. Um, awkward. I'm not good at either. But <laughs> oh, oh, I'm 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 Atlas Faria. Sorry, boys. I dozed off. Was that very Christoph like to wake up like that? Yeah, you did a very good job that time with your name. I th- did it feel more natural? I I did really like okay. it. Okay. It looks good oh, on you, though. That's fine. I'll just, that'll be my thing then, and you can have your own things, and I'll have my things. Oh, okay. And speaking of my things, I don't have anything. Yeah, it seems like they took my <laughs> weapons, which is hilarious because I have a force of destructive nature within this world with nothing but my hands and my will alone. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here, nerds, and I cast magic at the door. <laughs> But you know that feeling you had when you um, didn't have any magic and it yeah. felt very Yeah, I recall that. Yeah, it was, it was horrible. And yeah. I, I literally went to uh, the edge of the earth in Arcane Torn and almost died to get it back. So, so imagine you feel that uh-huh. except for you're full of magic, but you're all stopped up. Now you go to cast and you can't release. Ah. That's what you got going on now. Mm. It appears there's some sort of anti-magic ward in here. Um, so I'm going to serve my sentence and maybe I'll get off early for good behavior. Maybe I can get a job in the prison library. <laughs> There's one thing that magic can't stop and that's raw power. Atlas? Atlas smash. And I'll uh, like do it like a net crack and I'll say Alaria and I'll reach back for her. Is she there? Oh, she's not there. Oh, and I'm just grasping, grasping, grasping. Isn't that like a big deal for him? A, if he's separated from his cursed sword? Uh, yeah, roll a wisdom statement there, Bolton, please. 11. I'm gonna need you to like... Like... So, when you go to reach for Laria, and she's not there, it's it's, it's first like, oh, I missed it, I'm sleepy, and then you start like patting your back feverishly, she's not there. Like, this overwhelming sense of dread comes over you. Like, it's almost like you've lost your very being. It, imagine like something was severed off of you and you're like looking for it so it could be reattached. That's the type of like panic that spreads over Atlas. Adam, remind me your character's name one more time. Griffo. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up to Griffo. I'm gonna grab him by the, the scruff, whatever material I can of his neck, pin him against the cage and say, where's my sword? <laughs> Man, I just I just woke up in here and you guys were in here with me. I'm in jail too. Atlas, come gonna... Your sword is three times the size of this. Where is he going to be hiding it? <laughs> it's not in my legs. And I will kind of look over each shoulder. Confirm that 
sword is not there. So I'll set him down gently, and I'll just straight just close out. <sighs> say, I- I'm sorry, you-, you don't know what this sword. Uh, it's his girlfriend. Kind of power it's has his over girlfriend. Me. It is not my it's girlfriend. It's totally your girlfriend. You girlfriend. love her. You love your sword. She is an item. We we are not You're an item. item. How dare you treat her like an item? You guys are way you more. Sh- you angry. should be more respectful to your girlfriend. Scandalous. Griffo, don't listen to him. He's just angry because girlfriend's gone. Anyways, I can't get us out of here. Uh, can't you use your muscles? We could try. They, I, I'm sure there's there's other strong men that have been in here before. I'm not the first. And here, let's Can't give it a shot. Can't you shoot lightning off your body when you get mad? Get mad. Your Can't girlfriend wanna, left you. Yeah. Oh, dude. No, a lawyer's right down the hallway. I can see her. The only thing separating you are these bars. Uh, can I roll to believe that or something? Chase your love. <laughs> you can choose to believe that. You're not going to roll against him. And... I don't believe him, but I'm, I'm going to try to casually just walk over and just... just grip these things open. Yeah, uh, roll a, roll a strength. Get all an, strength? Uh, strength check. Or an athletics check, technically. So get those bonus points. Mm, it's a 15. Mm, so you, you walk over and the panic, the, the sense of dread, and you grab onto these bars and you pull them apart and you just bend like butter. No, um, you flex and you strain and you pull and they, you kind of actually like you feel them loosen a little like it's almost like they shake a little bit in place like clearly other people have tried this but they still hold pretty steady and you sorry boys you hear from uh just just nearby you hear can can you guys keep it down i don't think you're going to break the bars apart atlas lay down on the ground and moan like a ghost Wait, we're so dumb. Griffo, you're a rogue. Yeah. Do I have my hat? You do not. They took <gasps> his hat? No, it's over now. Yeah. This whole place gets burnt to the fucking ground. <laughs> All right, I cast heat metal on the bars. Uh, yeah, so you, uh, you summon this energy up and you go to like cast heat metal on the bars and you're expecting them to get hot and kind of be pliable and very similar to Kristoff, you got the you got the stopped upness, man. Like you, you go to release and it's just all it's kinda like when you got a burp and it just it won't happen. When you almost guys, I, over your entire body. Guys, I tried to cast magic before you guys got in here. It just it doesn't work. No, can, that's you, can, can you pick the locks? You, can you pick locks? Do you guys have a lock pick? I can make one out of the fucking buckle on my boot. Atlas? Yes. It's gonna hurt my hand a whole lot. Use my hand as a hammer. <laughs> break this buckle. I cannot use your meaty hands as a hammer. They are not fortified as such. If you believe. Okay. I, I, I believe your hands will be very I do have hard. an idea. Atlas, if you could lay on the ground and moan like a ghost. <laughs> Ricard, please help! Oh, he's injured! He's sick! Ah! And and you you hear from nearby. Listen, a guard's not coming, but all you're doing is annoying me. Who who are you then? I'm Quinn, who are you? I am Christoph Shindo. My friend's sick, help him! If I could help your friend, I wouldn't be here. Why do I want to be here? I, I don't. Okay, he's he feels better now. Ooh. He feels a little bit. Better. Oh yeah. What, who Quinn? Kristoff. How'd you get here, buddy? What'd you get in for? Ah, uh, well, well, truth be told, I'm a ghost slayer. It turns out some ghosts are meant to be around. I slayed the wrong ghost. People weren't happy about that. That's a lot to unpack. Yeah, it's a lot. That's. Mm. Whew. Ah. Well, Griff, um. Griffo, are... Hmm. are there lots of ghosts around here? Ghost uh, I mean, this guy's been talking about ghosts, like, since I got here. All, I just kind of been trying to tune him out. <laughs> yeah, the whole nap I was here, I just tried to tune this guy out. He was talking about ghosts the whole time. I don't know. So what, what are you in for? What? 
I, re I recall with my brain how I got into this jail cell. Uh, yeah, you remember a lute strumming, and then as it's strumming, you hear the sound of chord breaking. So I don't remember what happened after I arrived in this time and space and was subsequently arrested. Just like every other taken. adventure, you're dumped in here with no recollection of how it happened. Yeah, but things have happened since then, right? Because I have stuff that's gone, so like I've, my stuff is confiscated. Yeah, but you don't know that because you weren't awake for it. Got it. Yeah, guy. Oh, it, yeah, guys. You just came in here, uh, dressed as you are, without anything. I don't. Did we walk in here, Griffo, or did you just wake up and we were here? Some some guards just carried you guys in here. You guys were awake, mm -hmm. uh, asleep. Okay, so I mean, I I have a plan. It's not a good one. If we all only relieve ourselves on the on the bars of the cell, the low acid content in our urine will eventually weaken these bars enough where Atlas can break through. It should only take like two, three years max. Oh, to that, I have a better idea than that, believe it or not. I don't. If you take liquid and you put it on a cloth, it makes it stronger. We can put it around the bars and twist it and bend the bars in. Now, I, I don't know if we can do that to enough to get someone out, but I've seen it done before. I mean, you are, guys, you are a blacksmith. I've got a 20-day sentence, you guys. <laughs> you want to make it zero? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm trying to get out, but you guys are planning this long game stuff. I got a 20-day sentence. We've done this before. Uh, so for, We've been in this Well, position. for what it's worth, I don't know what we're in here for or for how long or what we're doing here or really anything. Oh, have you talked to a Jessica's Fawn or a Turingo? That's they how we got out. Yeah, yeah, we got if we've got a blank page, then I'll call your name. That's no, nope, no, nope. not not Didn't accurate. catch any names. Okay, okay. So I would like I, to, to roll an investigation check to just to see if sure there's anything rest, yeah. um, in the prison cell that I could use to escape, mm -hmm. or there's any weak points, or structurally, or anything. Yeah, yeah. So uh, when you do that, you uh, roll that investigation check. I almost gave you something for free. Because I have been trained. Uh, that's an 18. Way before I'm sorry, it's started. a 17. Oh, okay. Minus one. <clears throat> Man, that was a deciding factor. No. All right, Sherlock, here's what you see. Yeah, here's what you see, idiot. There's bars. No. So One bed, no pillowcase. You investigate. Uh, you start with the bars. And you can kind of see where whoever was in this cell before you, they were like... <laughs> pushing and pulling on it and you can see the grooves in the ground where clearly it, it, these bars have shifted as somebody has tried to work on them and I think you shuffle around uh, some of the hay and there's like this bedding that no one had, had, has been occupying right like because it's kind of nasty and in general not super great and I think you look through that being the smart person you are or pretend to be at the very least you um, kind of like feel it and you feel like this this like hardness in that bed like it feels like it's like oh hey there's straw this is a straw bed and then there's like something really hard there I I investigate the hard thing yeah so you'd have to like rip the rip the bedding open yeah fuck this bed to do that right yeah so okay so you like rip this bed open and it's like this like jagged piece of metal that's in there and you can tell that whoever was uh, by your surmise whoever was there prior to you had been like working on like a wedge or something and you can tell that it's like been used uh, atlas can you use this to work on the bars <clears throat> uh, i'll take it and use how big is it in my hands uh, in your hands i mean imagine it's like double size uh or not double the size yeah no rollers are pretty small double the size of a roller it's a pretty meaty piece of metal but it's like it's like broken like you can tell whoever had this before like was so lucky to get whatever piece of this metal is it's six inches i don't know i don't know what the fucking width of a roller is oh not the width yeah 
Why well, would I? I, I could tell you what the fucking length of a ruler is. It's a ruler. Like it tells could you me give that. Me the, dimensions? the width is one inch. They are twelve by one. Perfect. Thank you. I don't feel like that's accurate. I, I this is twelve by knowledge. two. Though. Uh, I don't know that this is is gonna op- open the door. Apparently, whoever's your last didn't work for them. Yeah, but they weren't trained blacksmiths. Yeah, but I also don't have a hammer or a forge or an anvil or any Look, just use my Griffo. hand as a hammer. We already <laughs> talked about this. Griffo, <laughs> could you do anything with this? <laughs> that's, that's way too big to be a lockpick. I have no idea what you want me to do with that. Let's throw it at that other guy. <laughs> Guys, that, that? that guy. Maybe you that can. Guy okay, lost so me no, one okay, okay, give me the th- method. Okay, so that there's grooves, there's wiggle room under these bars. So if we take this and we wedge it into the groove, we can get up under the bar. And then if you just apply pressure to this in Atlas with the, your your foot, you could kick it really strong, and then maybe okay. we can knock one bar loose, and then we can get the other bar, and then we can escape. Or we could throw it at the guy that lost me a nap. Yeah. Yeah, so many options. But if if we get out, you can then throw lots of stuff at that guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do want to get out. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying get into I've the already groove. wedged it. I did the wedge. I put it into because there's there's a groove underneath where the bars. So somebody's moving back and forth. I wedge the metal piece down in there so that it's like under the bar, and I just need you to kick it really hard. Okay. Everyone, okay. back up. Back right, the groove. And I'm gonna strength check kick this thing. Oh, add butter check, please. Get you that bonus. That is a 17. Uh, yeah, so you kick the shit out of this um, metal piece, and you kind of see that bar like slide a little bit further than the. And Kristoff, you can tell more than Atlas can. It like slides further than the groove had already been, and you can kind of see the bar kind of like bend out of not bend, but. Um, it's now more diagonal than it was. Yeah, so now if you just kick the bottom of the bar, since it's like diagonal now, it should slick right out. Okay. Give me another athletic I check, to get... yeah. Come on, you can do it, is big the, guy. Is that bardic inspiration you believe in him? A... Oh, the guest gives him advantage with the you can do it, big guy. Oh, yeah, Season yeah. Help action. Oh, yeah. All right, hold on. Griffo believes in... Oh, shoot. That gives me a 22. What was that first one? Just curious. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't 9 know? plus 5, oh, okay. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh, 56, 17, 18, 19, so it's a 20, not a 22. Yeah, but what's the first roll? You had advantage. Oh, no. I didn't... Oh, then it's an 18 plus 5. Whatever doesn't matter. I mean, I think that, I think these scores do matter, actually. So what did you roll? 23. to 23. A 23 okay, thank you. first. Thank you. Plus a 5 is 28. Even better. See, look at that score. You, um, you kick this bar, and the, the bottom gives way. And not only does it, like, pop out, right, essentially, it, it comes back and, like, hits you. You don't take any damage, but it's real fucking annoying. And... Now you have a metal bar. And there's like, that metal bar is probably what, like, I don't know, like a foot spacing. So you kind of do the math, that like you don't need that much more to get it out. But now you have a giant metal bar. What yeah. do you guys want to do now? Now you can grab the metal bar. You just and, have to yeah, wedge it. And you just stick that. it in between the space and then you just pull, like that, or push, and then it'll. Yep. All right, let's do the thing. Uh, yeah, you don't need to roll for this. You have a metal bar and you're a strong Sweet. boy. Don't even worry about that. So you, uh, you put this metal bar in between these other two bars and you brace yourself and you give it a good atlas shove and it breaks, it, or it doesn't break, but like it breaks out of position and you hear the metal banging around and you've got another bar loose. And at this point, like atlas, you might have to squeeze through, but everybody else, like, I mean, you guys can walk right through and and hop your way out. I walk through, yeah. and when I'm boys. in the hallway, I'd like to just, like, cast Frostbite on the ground to see if I can cast it in the hallway. Uh, you notice that you're still stopped up, but you can tell that it's, like, it's not so bad. Like, you yeah. can feel that you're just, like, it's getting weaker, it's on the edge. Um, what are you, boys, what do I do? So now you're in this hallway, and it's, it's, it's cold, and it's... Like the floor is stone, and you're—you've got these gray stone walls, 
and it's pretty dim as far as the light goes. And you've got left towards this voice of Quinn, and you have right, which is another long hallway. Which way do you want to go? Uh, I feel like we need to talk to Quinn. Well, yes, we'll absolutely talk to Quinn. Uh, Atlas, you can use that metal bar as a weapon. If we get into any trouble. Um, and then mm. I have my words, which are potent. Uh, I can use... A, I can... Uh, here, Griffo, I'll give you the other one. The uh, the small piece of metal? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I got two bars now, right? Yeah, I have two. Bars. Broke one out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you hand him a, what, like, what is that, like an eight foot, foot and a half metal or, or whatever that is? Uh, eight foot? Pro- I mean, you gotta think about this, like, yeah. it's a gel cell, it's not six foot. It's Although eight. it was like maybe, a maybe yeah, Rowan okay. uses that one, and maybe you use yeah. the small piece of metal as like a makeshift shank. I break it in half. No, come on. Yes, <laughs> you break the metal bar in half, but you couldn't bend it. You're right. You break it in half. No, I think. That. Sorry, bud. I think I'm too small. For, I I don't think I can carry that. You, you thing. give it. You no. Here, you take this little metal shank. That's basically like oh, a dagger, like an improvised there you weapon, go. Thank you. like to a dagger, which per the player's handbook can mimic the stat blocks mm-hmm. of that weapon. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Why well, he's losing? He's losing. <laughs> oh, sorry. He's, he's gone insane. Yeah, the, the arcane wars again. Um, you and then you both have these. They're basically like quarter staffs. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Okay. And then we'll go talk. I don't to really. Them. I don't really okay, want to kill you, anybody, you, you though. These, I mean, uh... it's about freedom. No, no, we're we're not trying to kill anyone. If anything, it's an incapacitate move yeah. operation. They'll probably be for all the guys that we fight are fine afterwards. They go to sleep. Yeah, we'll just... And then they, the, later they wake up and they're on a farm and they can run and, and they can play. Yeah, sometimes even people that we spare go and open up doors to demons. It's fucking crazy shit. Yeah, some, that's... Well, um... Hello, Quinlan. And, uh... Quinn kind of looks back at you and, uh... Quinn is a human. He's got short black hair and looks pretty rough. Like, like very frail... Definitely malnourished, and uh, Quinn says, um, "Wait!" And he, like rubs his eyes. Hold how, how 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 did you guys get out? I've only got one question for you, Quinn. Are you fucking cool? Yeah. Break of break him out, Atlas. He's with us. He's fucking cool. I don't have a key, Use the dude. bar in your hands to do the thing that we just did before. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, so you do, you do the same thing. And um, same same deal, you put you put the uh, the bar between, do, give it a good atlas shove, and uh, a couple of attempts later, and uh, Quinn kind of like stands to his feet, and as like these metal pipes, like metal pipes, metal bars, like, uh, banging around, like he's like getting up and like moving around, and and uh, like I think Quinn like leaps forward on you, Atlas, and like hugs you. Oh, thank you. I've been here for so long. It's okay. Now, now we arm yourself with one of these metal bars. I will grab the other additional metal bar. Now we all have makeshift weapons. Hooray! Absolutely. And uh, Griffo, go ahead. get us out of here. What? I assume you know the way. I I. I don't. I was arrested just like you guys, and they just brought me in here with a sack on my head. A sack on your head. Oh, so you were blindfolded. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, I, I would assume that way. That's a good way. And I, I, I like point to the, yeah, I point to the only only other way <laughs> that... Uh, yeah, so you guys uh, walk down the hallway that was initially to your right, um, and uh, marching orders, boys? I will be in, in the rear. Okay, Middle. Alice first. I'll take a bleed. Yeah, I want to be, be. I want to. Uh, Griffin wants to be right behind uh, the big beefy uh, barbarian orc. All right, perfect. So, uh, marching orders: Atlas, Griffo, Rowan, Quinn, and Kristoff. And so, you're. Whoa! I don't want to be the meat in a stranger sandwich. I want to be behind Quinn. 
Sorry, no, I'm sorry. It's been decided, and you're always a meat and a stranger sandwich. Do you not realize that there's there's three people, in, three players? You you got to be in the middle of those two. That's um, fair. Fuck. So, Alice, you like you've like kind of steeled yourself, and you are walking through this hallway, and um, do me a favor and just just for giggles, roll stealth check. Atlas specifically. That is an 11. And you're like walking forward and you do one of those like almost cartoon-esque where you like you hit this like spot where you can see like uh, you can turn left you can go straight and you kind of walk forward and you look to your left and see a guard and you like like rewind yourself backwards just like <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And so you know that to the left there's a guard and straight forward it's further down the hallway. What do you do? I said, I go, boys, there, there's a guard to the left or we can go straight ahead. Um, I'm pretty sure we can take one guard but we, we don't want to bring too much attention to ourselves, right? Uh, so Kristoff explains his actions instead of just... Oh, yes, I, I, I pantomime in the back, in this audio format podcast. I I, I just gesture wildly, like, forward, go forward, that way, don't, mm-mm, the words just go. Like that scene in The Breakfast Club where they're avoiding the principal. Gotcha. All right, here we go, guys. Okay, so everybody... uh, I'm going to do a peek around the corner to get a gain an opportune time. Uh, yeah, I mean, the dude's looking the other direction. Not even looking your way. <clears throat> all right. Well, I'm gonna skedaddle across. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then stop. Do you mean I assume we're all just gonna travel? So, uh, self checks as a group, please. Now I'll do oh. one for Glenn. That's my jam. That's my. Jam. Oh. Oh wait. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh oh. God damn. Plus eleven. Is that right? My D and D Beyond <laughs> says plus eleven. Yeah, it's yeah. called expertise, yeah, it's and it's real good. Oh, yeah. 5 plus 11, so 16. We'll say that works. Uh, I got a five, no. uh, 15. A non natural 20. Okay. I got a 6. So, um, like, Atlas is walking forward, and now that he knows, he's in his own head about this, right? And so he's, he's kind of like walking forward, and he like, stumbles over himself, and Griffo, like, grabs him by his like little pantaloons that he wears and like with all of Griffo's might like he kind of slides on the floor a little bit in both hands he's like pulling Atlas up so he doesn't like fall on his face and like you, you two are good and you're walking and, and you're good and Rowan he's the same way he's like alright cool man like I'm just gonna like I saw what Atlas did don't even worry he's all confident and I think the fact that he doesn't have his hat like throws off his like balance and stealth moves and like so he like gets across the way and like I think he's almost clear and he kind of like makes a face at the guard like mm-hmm, you, it, and he starts to slip and fall and Grippo now then turns around and panics and starts seeing that and he's like pushing up on Rowan to like keep him from falling over and like I think Grippo's face is just like these guys right <laughs> and then like Quinn and Kristoff both like watch what happens stare at the floor and just walk as carefully as possible across and so you guys make it through the form of group stealth checks um so you guys want to keep going down the hallway, right? Uh, Alice, explain to me like how you want to proceed, right? Because you got jail cells on your right, and you can see further ahead. Occasionally, you got more of these hallways, right, or more of these like turns that you're seeing. Uh, I imagine that I'm holding this pole, um, left hand, right hand, in front of me, ready to like a spear attack anything. Or like, a, like, a, like, how are you like ready to fight with this thing? I'm just curious. It's just here. like. Left hand, yeah, almost like a spear, okay. um, and you're just holding it up, upwards though, not not out, um, okay. and and just with caution, taking taking as soft steps as I can, looking around often. Yeah, so you are walking through cautiously, and same thing. You you see an opening in the hallway, and you have feet forward, and you do this with a couple hallways. Some have guards, some don't. And you get to this point where you 
look left and there's nobody in the hallway and you look forward and there's like a door right like a wooden door and now you have a choice do you want to go forward towards a wooden door or do you want to go left down the hallway i would like to go through the door you would like to go through the door uh so do me a favor and um just like go forward and uh uh, i want to put my ear to the door first you put your ear to the door and do do you make a little perception check two you hear the soft sounds of the wooden door so if you want to pan on those for me real quick so i'm gonna edit Nope, that's my name. Anyways, um... He's pantomime. Yeah, I know, you're so good. Base word. Uh, I'll just open Sit, Guys, it seems like it's okay. We're gonna go in. Yeah, so you, you, um... You go to open this door, and when you do that, you feel it locked. And, um... Quinn, you can hear Quinn go... Why? Why would they leave... The storage. Th- that's where they put all the stuff they take from people. Why would they leave that unlocked? What? Give my fucking hat. Okay, so he has the new plan. We go back to that guard, beat the shit out of him while he's not looking, take his keys, then come back here and get our shit back. Are we assuming all the gods have keys to this Yes. Door? That seems pretty irresponsible of whoever's in charge of this place. I'm already moving towards the guard now with my goddamn All right, so you've like, like, you kind of like split, like, past the group. Now you're leading the other I am just going to quickly Mm -hmm. on the wall real quick, just cast Frostbite. Uh, so, when you touch your hand to the wall, like, you're, because you're trying to stay close, right? Like, it's Mm -hmm. just a connection. You can feel the tingle of frost come out your fingers and kind of see that, like, that sweet, sweet cold that you like, but you can just still feel it. Like you're right there, mm. you're right there, and it just. Yeah. So you guys head back the other direction, and there's this empty hallway that was already on your left, but it's now on your right. And then you hit the next hallway, and there's a guard right there. What do you boys do? Atlas yeah, charges we, is in and whacks. We fucking bum rush him and beat him with our improvised weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Is that we want? Is that our tactical decision? Uh, it's what's it's what's happening in real done. time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you guys rush that way, and Atlas and McCarran roll a melee attack, please. I'm going to DM. That's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right as you're about to come up to him, he turns around and you hear him say, What are you? And right at that moment, bar to face, and this guy goes out cold. I search for keys and weapons. Absolutely, you find keys, and you hear voices in the distance. Oh, what is that? Charisma check imitation, if, it's, if possible. Yeah, you do you. I saw another fucking rat. Do me a favor and roll a performance check for me, please. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Performance. Uh, just to have to take my charisma. I don't have enough proficiency, but that's still 18. And you hear... God damn it, Steven! Nobody gives a shit about those rats! Yeah, fuck you too! Steven! I, don't make me come down there and beat your ass! I'm gonna put my mouth over Kristoff's <laughs> and my hand over Kristoff's mouth. <laughs> no, it's, you're right, I'm sorry. It's cool! Lunch later? Yeah! And then I'm gonna put my other hand over his mouth. <laughs> And you see Quinn just like freaking out, like eyes wide, like, what are you boys doing? Like, he just, no words, just like his mouth agape, like, what the? 
Griffin, do you know the do you know the spell silence? Grab, <laughs> grab his. No, I don't. Grab the fucking guard. We gotta stash the body. All right, I'll pick him up. I'll toss the keys to Quinn. Uh, yeah. So you, you toss those keys to Quinn, and like for a moment, you see Quinn surprised, as surprised of everything, and he like grabs the keys, and you can see him panicking to like hold them tight and not like make noise. And he looks at you and like mouths the words, "Why would you throw them?" I trusted you. Let's go. And uh, so like that says a lot, Quinn, doesn't it? <laughs> Quinn leads the way back to the uh, the equipment closet, and um, he like looks around and places a, a key in a lock and turns it. And it's the loudest key in lock that you've ever heard, right? Because it's just fucking quiet in this um, this like fucking prison. And uh, he unlocks the door, steps back, and says, "This is your boy." What? I'm not going in burst. What? I've seen enough it's terrible a locked door. Uh, what, What's behind a locked door besides the things that I meant? To, I, I'm going uh, in. What if they were to keep something? Ah, okay. And uh, so you, yeah, you go open this door and um, it's just like a lot of junk, right? Like it's people's like coats and hats and there's some like swords and shields and armor and and you look around and all that fucking fades away, Alice. It's like your vision goes black and white and everything is gone. Like every item that's on the wall disappears. The the shelves, the floor, the walls, they all stay and they're just all fucking black and white. The only thing in color is Alaria. And your blade sits against the wall on the opposite side of the room. I sprint to it and grab it up in an embrace. Yeah, you I knew this. you'd come. <laughs> yeah, you do this, and you're like, like, you, whether you realize it or not, you're like pushing like fucking armor racks over and weapon racks over, just making tons of fucking noise. Um, but you get to this weapon before anything happens. I'm going to position myself between Atlas and Quinn. Okay, you do that. I want to find my hat and my effects. Yeah, so um, you kind of look around and, I mean, you see your hat on a, on a hat rack and what, like, I think, like, what boils you up, and I don't know, I don't want to speak for your character, man, but, like, there's, like, other hats piled on top of your hat. Like, right? Like... Oh. It's not great. It's like, it's like they threw yours down and just piled more shit on top of it. And you can see nearby, like, your fucking loot and your weapons and shit. Oh, I get all that, and then I impale all the hats on my bar, and I keep the bar. <laughs> okay. You do do I have a cloak? Yeah, man. You uh, you definitely see like your cloak and 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 your other travel travel belongings, travel like belongings, and so you can go scoop those up. Uh, I'm not. All right, cool, I'm cool, not cool. moving, but um, Rowan, in uh-huh. my, it, find my bag if you would. And if you, inside of it, you'll find a small magical waterproof bag. Inside is a card and a coin. Just make sure those are there for me. I don't care about anything else. Got it, boss man. I do that. In fact, yeah, um, and I, I, and, and yeah, I want to so make it clear for like a role playing standpoint, like I'm staring unner- like unnervingly at Quinn and like trying to block out Atlas. Uh, yeah, Quinn's like kind of weirded out by you staring at him. Um. But yeah, so Rowan, you definitely find Kristoff's uh, bag and his and his um, damaged coat and stuff like that. And um, oh, they took my coat. They took my vest. I'm just walking around your naked, coat, bro. No, well, you're not like naked. You got your pants on, right? Like, okay. But yeah, they took your coat. Um, and attached to your coat is like your fucking um, your crossbow and stuff like that. So they just like took the whole thing, right? And um, you, you you get his bag and you open it up and there there's no card and coin. Nah, no, I'm just fucking with you, man. The, it's card and coin are in there. Like you're super happy. Everything's good. Um, you guys notice like Quinn doesn't like go for anything. Quinn, you should Ooh. arm yourself. And uh, Quinn's like, uh, yeah, um, that may, uh, yeah, okay. And like he like puts down the bar and he walks over and while he's, he's like, while he's doing right? that, I want to rush to Atlas. 
Okay, you rush to Alice. Whatever you do, you cannot let him know about Alar. Why not? She's He's my a best ghost friend. hunter, Atlas. One of them. Yeah, well, she's different. She's a trap soul. She's not a ghost, to oh, say. He doesn't know that, Atlas. If you want to keep Alaria safe, you keep her in the sword and you don't let him know that you're talking to her all the time like a weirdo! Okay, well, unless he's a super powerful wizard or something, he ain't gonna have the spell to get her out I'm, of the sword I've read anyway. I've about the ghost slayers. They, their entire premise is to destroy trapped spirits. I don't know if we he would have, I don't think he can take us in a fight. He's obviously malnourished and weak, but if he can get a ritual off to get a lot, it'll be too late. She'll be gone. So, like, you guys are saying this, and you're not being very quiet, and there. when you turn around, um, you see that uh, Quinn has, like, got this, like, like, this coat on, not like this long coat on, and Quinn is holding like this like big crossbow and he's like moving around pretty easily and uh quinn goes what about a ghost oh that's my nickname because he's a white orc he's very ghost-like yeah, yeah, they called him. It's more derogatory than it is anything yeah but we but now he's, embra he's embraced it now and you see him kind of like grip the the weapon he's holding and he says, uh, that weapon, there's of no concern of yours, weird. Quinn. And you kind of see him like, uh, like sniffing and you can kind of see him struggling with something internally. Like you can kind of see his like face shaking and, and it's almost like he's got like a headache or like you can't tell but his face is scrunching and there's definitely some like pain going on but he's like staring really hard through everyone and at that sword. Oh, my eyes are up here, Quinn. Could it's be fine. Look, I've got... It's fine. And then I... Because I have my pistol, right? Oh, you do now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, I just pull that and like, look, Quinn. Don't even... That's just a sword. And if you think you see anything else, don't even worry. Because the last thing to go through your mind will be this. If you think about it anymore. And... Quinn says, I, I don't want to be threatened. You're the one with the ghost. Quinn, we could Listen, have we could have left you in job. that cell, Quinn. We could have left you in that cell. Your order, although a little bit on the dark side, you're an order of honor. You owe us to look the other way. Do not investigate any further, and when we're gone from here, we'll be separated, we'll go our separate ways. And, uh, do me a favor, and, um, as you're, like, saying that, roll a persuasion roll. Would love to. Thank you. 25. <laughs> and so he kind of, like, uh... I'm good at calms these. Down, he kind of calms down a little bit, and he says, I, I don't know to tell you, it's in my blood. I can't just turn away from that. And as grateful as I am... You guys are going to have to stop me. Like, I can't. And you can, like, see, like, the struggle between him and his, like, arms and as the bow's, like, starting, or the, the crossbow's starting to, like, raise up from the down position up. He goes, D I have to stop this. Quinn, look at this pistol over here that this guy's got. And, like, like, you can see it, like, Quinn's looking at that pistol, but that bow is, like, or that crossbow is, like, raising up towards Atlas. He goes, no, get it. Cool pistol. Probably gonna shoot me. I have to do this. Griffo, I super appreciate you being on our side in this. So I'm gonna shoot him in the hand. Not, not Griffo. Quinn. Okay. Quinn. Okay. Quinn. Okay. Okay. I super Thank appreciate you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, good looking out. You don't need that hammer, uh, right? I I feel I feel like as 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 he's shooting, Kristoff is at the same time letting loose a ray of frost if it will come. Uh yeah, so that's that's the fucking crazy part, right? So he pulls up this crossbow and you like pistol up, go to cast. Both of you guys, like, it's like it sputters out, right? Like, you go to cast Eldritch Blast, and it, like, it's almost like a little bit of fireworks, and then ice kind of bolts forward, and Atlas 
you're gonna have a cross bolt heading your direction. Um, 16. Uh, oh, that hits. That's it. Yeah, your AC yeah, is yeah, more than three. I know, I know. That's it. Uh, okay, so you're gonna take eight piercing damage. This like short bolt flies out and like pierces like into your sh- like your shoulder, the your rotary cuff, and like it fucking hurts, man. And mm. we'll imagine it hurts because it's a fucking bolt <laughs> in your arm. But no, I get it. I get it. Eight po- or what is it? Eight points of damage is a whole lot for a tough barbarian. And you see Quinn, and Quinn's not like moving quickly. He's like shaking, and he's like putting his feet against it and loading another bolt. And he goes, "I look, I, I, get I it. run up and you I grab the crossbow. Me. I grab the crossbow." Why did we bring this guy? I told you he lost me a nap. <laughs> You're, that's how you know. <laughs> you was yeah. all along. So with very little effort, you run up and take this bow from him. Like he kind of fights you, but you can tell like there's a struggle. And he's like, he, he responds because listen, I'm all about your generosity, but you're going to have to like, lock me up or something. I, I can't. I can feel her in there. Like I, or. I understand. We're going to leave you here. I hope that after we're gone, you find another way to escape. I'm sorry, Quinn, and I leave. Okay. You leave. You, uh, you I'm just gonna scoot around you here. <laughs> I mean, he's, he starts and, uh, walking towards you. <laughs> I'll grapple him. Big guy, we can just leave. Cell. We're gonna put him in a. I'm gonna grapple him. Mm-hmm. He's gonna follow us out of the room, because he's a, he's a person who can oh, do yeah. that. Oh yeah, that's a that's and a so good I'm idea. Grapple yeah, yeah. Him and yes, you can grapple him. And, and I mean, he's gonna he's gonna roll against you at his at disadvantage, but he doesn't. You can tell Twenty one. Yeah. Um. So he like like you grab him and you like he grabs against you, but you you can feel that like. That is not his full strength at all. Like, there's internal struggle. Knock, knock him out. Yeah, should I, should I, okay. Uh, Quinn, uh, I'm very sorry, but it seems like this is, it has to be done. And I'll just, or, well, I don't, I don't want to like lose grip. Can I like keep one arm yeah, on just and just and knock him? him out? And you can tell me however you want to do it, man. Yeah, okay, well, I'll hold head one bonk. arm just with the right arm getting stronger. I'll bonk him on the head. Okay, yeah. So go ahead and roll it. Some man, gri- please. Griffith's cheering you oh, on. That's a, that's a crit, dude. I ain't lying. A crit 20 or a crit 1? It's a crit 20. Okay. So, you, 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 give him just, you, you intend to give him a tiny boot, right? And so you just <laughs> come around with that, that hammer fist, and you kind of hear the... And... He just kind of falls backwards. I think I didn't want to kill him. Dead. Just for the record, I think you, okay. I think like, you booped him too hard. There's blood everywhere, all, right, all over his have. like head. Like you can tell, like you booped him a little too hard. Uh, we can just we'll 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 lock. Is there a, like a little slide underneath the storeroom door? Like, is there like a little gap at all? Uh, yeah. Like you can tell, it's it's not like um. You can tell it's from like where the like the building has like settled a little yeah. bit, like at the bottom where like the door doesn't quite shut perfectly. You could like slide the key under the door. Yeah. So we'll lock the door and then slide the slide the key to the storeroom only, underneath the door, and then we'll leave. And that way he can get maybe he can get out when we're. He's not a bad guy. He's just trying to do his goddamn gerb. He's just a bad. He's guy. just trying to do his freaking gerb. Yeah, gotcha. so you guys you guys do that, right? Like, you guys um, leave this guy bleeding from his head in the storeroom, and you lock the door, and you, you slide the key under. Uh, and you guys can turn around. Which way do you want to go? You have your long hallway, or you have the open hallway to your right? I'll go back to the open hallway on the right. Griffo, are you sure you never, you, you don't remember any turns? You, you didn't like memorize the pattern as you were being brought down? No, I have, I have no idea. They were carrying me, so I couldn't really get a gauge on left or right. Oh, just kind of okay. thump 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 mm. thump thump Yeah, yeah I was kicking. Kick- weird music playing the whole time. Yeah, I heard like a tuba, I think, or a, or a <laughs> no, trumpet. You, I, I don't you, know. You heard the first time, tuba. I, yeah. I don't know if it's, I feel like it's very rude to carry you. No, oh, oh, I agree. I want to find the guy who was carrying me also, uh, oh, if, at all possible. You know. It was that guy. Just, we knocked him out. 
<laughs> oh, the, the one guard we knocked yeah, out? You think him. it was him? Yeah, I think so. I saw, I, 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 cause, well, no, I saw when he shoulders. turned around and he saw Atlas clock him cold. He saw you and his eyes were sweating. He was like, it was you, the one I came out. He said, you, the one I carried. <laughs> you don't know how much that means to me that we got him. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. It was, Thank you. It was Thank mostly you. you. Well, yeah. let's, just, let's go back down that hallway then. So you want to go hallway or you want to go right? Right. Okay, so you... You, We're, I, yeah. you go right and you're going down through this hallway and on the left hand side you see stairs and they're kind of heading up. What do you do? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she... What was this? Yes. She, you're going up the stairs. I mean... Can I? I'm just. I'm just gonna keep trying. I'm just gonna keep trying to do frostbite on the wall as we walk. <laughs> I want to know the exact yeah, and, point and at which you like, When you guys are walking, it's getting e- it's getting easier and easier and easier. And you go up and you kind of hit this like summit, and you guys are like walking for like what feels like ten or fifteen minutes, and you're going forward, and now you're checking every hallway, right? And you've kind of established a pattern that's like up the stairs, walk find another pillar of stairs and and so you go up three floors almost and Kristoff when you hit these this top of this third floor um all the other boys in the party do me a dexterity saving throw please but not me not you what's your about you oh that's so good 19 19 total perfect 22 perfect uh, I, I assume those all beat your dexterity saving throw for stock. Or not your dexterity saving throw, your spell cast and save. Uh, I mean, 19, I was 19 and 22. I, 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 get, I, get, I get what you're saying, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's, it beats my save DC. All right, perfect. Go ahead and roll your damage for me, please. And um, boys, you're going you're gonna to take half. That's not how that spell works. Go ahead and roll your damage for okay. me. You're going to go ahead and take half. Okay. Uh, it's been a while. Can't see old frost. Two d six. Not a lot, boys. Just enough to make the point. Uh, it's six damage. So you guys are gonna take three damage. Uh, and... I want to cast reflect Ooh. cold. Is that a reaction spell? Yes. It's as much a reaction spell as taking full damage from that spell is. You know, you say that with like confidence, and I'm just, I don't believe See, the, you. The trick of it is I say everything with confidence, and I didn't even think that was a real spell to I begin don't, with. I, d- I don't it's, think yeah, it is. I've, I've never, never heard, heard of it's that. absolutely not, but I was like, look, they're adding spells all the time. Is that, is that, is that like a special like, special like, bard ability? I'll, I'll just take the damage. It's fine. <laughs> so never heard of it. When you guys get to the top of the stairs, Kristoff, you feel like pushing, and like trying to force magic out this entire way and when you got to this top stairs you feel that seal break and you just like explode with ice like ice like just rips out of your entire body like all over you like it's like it's almost like it emits out of your skin and boys like you guys all like kind of hear Kristoff like make like this noise all of those things in one and it's enough to warn you and you kind of all like go against the wall but you still take a little bit of the uh the icy goodness christoph what the fuck good news. guy what was that all about good news we could use magic again cool oh don't, yes thank don't you don't think a safer way to figure this out Hey, so I'm still getting used to certain things about my magical anatomy. I'm still discovering my magical body, if you will. And you also feel <laughs> a lot better. Yeah, right? oh, like it's, it's quieter. Anymore. It's a release. I gotta tell you. Sometimes you just gotta <laughs> clean the pipes, if you know what I mean. The magical conduits. I mean, I guess there's nothing like blue wall. So, yeah, there you go. That's yeah. all messed Anyway... Up. Right, so you guys uh, keep... You guys keep heading... It's a metaphor for direction. ejaculation. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like you a, know, you know. Play on I that. got that. I got that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that. Shit, all like all <laughs> in the face and down the chin. That's how much I got that one. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna keep walking. <laughs> 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 Please <laughs> let's. Down the hallway, and um. You know, there's something strange. You haven't, you haven't seen a guard for like a floor and a half now at this point. Guys, where are the guards at? 
probably uh, lunch. I swear to God, if you say out cold. <laughs> no, like a union break? Like a union <laughs> coffee break? Mmm. Oh, this place seems pretty big. I mean, maybe it's just... They don't expect people to break out of the yeah, sales very often. And you're walking towards this, um, this like open, opening in the wall on your right, and it's getting colder. And now you're seeing like the light pour in as you're kind of you've been walking through these uh, kind of dim hallways, and you start to it's starting to get real cold. Uh, of course, Kristoff, you don't notice any of this because you're a tiefling and internal heat and your obsession with cold, so you're fine. Uh, also, you just like just out cold everywhere, so it's fine. Um, but everybody else, you're starting to get cold. And you come up on this entrance way, and when you turn right, like, you can see an open gate, and snow is just, like, pouring in. And you, like, you can see, like, outside. Like, you just see, like, uh, like snow, the snowy horizon, 20 feet forward. And that ends part one of Griffo Takes the Stage. So we're going to do something different that we don't typically do. We're going to take this guest episode and we're going to cut it in two. Uh, mainly because your boys are going on vacation. Well, kind of. Uh, so November is a really busy month for all of us. And so we worked really, really hard in October to make November a lawful, stupid, free month for us. Meaning that we don't have to record, we don't have to edit. Uh, a lot of us are doing NaNoWriMo. A lot, I'm getting married specifically. I know Shane and Devin both have a lot of traveling. And Alex has a ton going on in his life as well. And so we're going to cut this one up. And that gives us um, some extra breathing room in the release schedule. What you should know. That does not mean there will be no content. There will absolutely be content every single week. Uh, you know, bar something crazy happening that I don't foresee coming. But there will be content every single week um, for October. And then in December, we're going to pick back up and it's going to be great. You're going to see Lawful Season... Oh, Lawful Stupid Season 2. It's going to be great. But that's for December. So I just want to say, uh, yeah, it's part two coming next week. So we're gonna we're gonna tease that a little bit. You're gonna have to wait until next week to get the rest of of Adam from One Shot Onslaught. And ah, uh, is the wait worth it? Um, but also, thanks for listening. Um, that this is not how we normally do things, but really. Uh, we just want to say we appreciate you listening and you we mostly appreciate you understanding. Thanks so much.